Hi, it's Paul. And Gemma from Hench Herbivore. We're at London Ventures 2017. Let's go inside, yeah, woo! <laughs> So we just got here, one of my friends is in here and said, oh, I'm looking forward to seeing you speak at one. I'm like, what? And then, yeah, she showed me this um, programme. Apparently I'm speaking at one, so we better go and find the main auditorium. <laughs> but we've got such inspirational people here. <laughs> I gave it a go. Like Patrick, I hadn't seen people doing it, so I was concerned I'm not going to lose all my muscles. And it's been nothing but a boost to my sports performance. My eyesight is twice as good. I've cured my tendonitis. I always used to have tendonitis from training, then I have to have three weeks off. Let the tendonitis calm down. Um, eyesight more than twice as strong, no more hay fever. Uh, and then in the personal training clients, they're all doing well in the gym. Half are vegan, half are omnivorous. In one group, we reversed type 2 diabetes, liver disease, depression. The Norwich City Skipper cured his, cured his ulcerative colitis. All in the vegan group, that is, that we were seeing all the disease reversal. So it is so powerful. It's not every day we get to hear from world class, absolutely brilliant vegan athletes. Can we have an incredible veg fest round of applause? Thank you, Patrick Day, Ed Turnbull, and Christine. Thank you, guys. If Bradley Cooper can do it, then we can hear at VegFest as well. It's that band. Have you got a second? Yeah, man, always. Always for you. So, band of ethics. Hey, what's going on? Check them out on the YouTubes. Uh, obviously, we're all doing loads of great things for vegans. I'm asking everyone today, yeah. what vegans have done for you, brother? Oh. It's made me more compassionate in every part of my life, I think. So that's, that's a big one. When you start thinking about, well, that's why we're making these clothes now, because we started thinking about what was happy, we started thinking about what goes into our meals, we started thinking about what goes into our clothes, and, you know, and what effects that has. So, yeah, compassion, man, definitely. Yeah, man, yeah. it just opens you up, doesn't it? Yeah, and to everything. Yeah. To be like, oh, it's like, oh, there's so many things that are hidden behind the scenes. Yeah. So you have to, like, start looking around corners, man. Beautiful. Yeah. And thank you for all you do, brother. Thank you. Bring her in. Bean. Vegan love. Love this guy. Look at this guy. Ah, <laughs> you little <laughs> sweetie. The panel, they ask the civil question. You can't go and sit on anything. Can I grab you? You just did. Yeah, what's happening? What's happening, people? A vegan geezer here. Yeah, give me the large. What? I'm asking everyone, Bob. I'm asking everyone. Obviously, we'll all be great things for veganism, but what has veganism done for you, brother? Made me think clearly. I think that's the biggest thing you can talk about. I mean, I've always been in good health. I haven't noticed this huge, dramatic change. I've got a few little tweets here and there, but it's just more about the mental state. I see things in the world more clearly. I evaluate things more clearly. My mind's expanded. And I guess as well, it's changed my life for the better. I got out of my job that I've been winding me down for 12 years. I'm now doing something that I work from home, travel. I can spend time all the time with my kids, travel the world, so take my work with me. And it's been a vegan job, promoting a positive message. So, yeah. Yeah. And then connecting with people like you, yeah. man, and you're like new friends, and I've known you like a couple of years, man. Yeah, man, it was two years ago yeah. in this very venue. You tried to beat me up. <laughs> you thought I was blanking you because I lost my phone and we were resident, and then I went quiet. Yeah. But it was meant to be. Bring it in, brother. Bring it in. Yeah. You need Man, a hugging no. sound effect. You know you did a yeah. You need a hugging sound effect. Yeah, like a, oh. We'll do that. Noise when you two hug. Oh, okay. <laughs> cut, cut. <laughs> Happy cow. Happy cow. I found one of my absolute heroes of plant based nutrition, <laughs> Dr. Milton Mills. So, the episode I heard was about, all about the marvelous microbiome. Right. And I learned the epigenetic effects, so how pre soul damages our oligodendrocytes. Right. And how future A uh, reprograms our colonic mucosal cells. This guy was listening. I was listening. <laughs> Has people just done anything for you? What have you got? Oh, gosh, man, it's um, I can't even begin. It's like wow. That's like asking me why do I love my mother? I mean, <laughs> so thank you for all you doing by that. My pleasure. Bring it in. Bring it in. Oh. So good to see you. All right. Yes. Thank you, brother. Man. 
I got, now, this is my hero. Right. I'm gonna end up looking like him. <laughs> well, Kyle, cut you on mine. It's all right. <laughs> Person. I spent a lot of time video editing and even before I did all the PBN stuff I was always had like my introverted hobbies where I just did stuff and then I always had that thing in my mind like I'm wasting my life like on my own a lot like, doing this but now I don't care if I'm in on Saturday like editing or something it gives me purpose you know what I'm saying yeah. so yeah but yeah like this community is so great I'm on a mission and I love that events like this because yeah meeting like minded people is really really great and you, like, I love, you know, we've seen a lot of people come and go over the last two years. And it, honestly, like, I value our friendship so, so much because there you continue to upload videos, the stuff's growing, like, everything's going really, really, really well. We've seen a lot of people come and go that aren't doing anymore, but like, I'm so happy that we're both still in it. Yeah, same. Thank you so much. No for worries. We're good. We're good. Loving the clouds. Look at these gays! <laughs> Look at this fancy man. What have you got? Smoothies? Yeah, juices. Nice. I uh, award you with most snazzy looking person of the festival award. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Link in the description. Give us your money. <laughs> Look. Oh, focus. You yeah. have to wait for a second. Look who we found. The lovely James Ashby. Yo, what's James, I'm, I'm asking all the activists today, you do so much for veganism, but what has veganism done for you? Well, probably the coolest thing that it's done for me that I think doesn't get talked about that much is, you know, when I went vegan, I started seeing so much more value in this world, you know, that like my life got enriched because all the other life forms that I saw became more special you know I started seeing other animals as individuals and seeing them as like people you know non-human people and so the whole world just changed because yeah the world became enriched man and that enriched my life that was probably one of the coolest things that veganism's done for me yeah but there's a million things man that's just it's the hard to pick one isn't it there's a million things bro so many positive things man yeah. in so many ways best thing ever yeah you know <laughs> thank you man yeah brother anything oh baby bring it in hey uh, it's my besties uh, how are you jay Good, thanks, mate. Um, busy, busy. I hear you sold out yesterday. Sold out twice. Yeah. Sold out twice yesterday. Uh, wow. You're doing something right, Joe. You're doing something right. You're doing something right. Yeah, man. Right, let's do this. Let's get you in here as well. Oh, man. Look what I found. Amazing vegan athletes. Oh, my dog, Yeah, video. Okay, I was on board. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> So we've got Nimo Delgado, IFBB Pro, Derek Sinlet, basically the Canadian Hench Herbivore, <laughs> <laughs> doing the same uh, stuff. Guys, you do so much for veganism. What has, what has veganism done for you guys? It's brought me here. You know, it's veganism has changed my life. I've never expected to be even associated with some of the people I've, I've met 
over the course of the last three years has taken me to avenues I've never expected to be. I never even, I, t I talked about this earlier, I've never even expected to be a bodybuilder. And veganism took me to not only being the best shape of my life, but also becoming a professional bodybuilder and using that platform to help spread that message and help spread awareness and inspire other people to just promote and, and show what you can do on a vegan diet. So, vegan diet, it, it's changed my life. Yeah, man. I can't say it. it's changed my life 180. Exactly, my you're so good with words. Like, what can I say from that? Like, yeah, it's definitely given me like such a good sense of purpose and just direction in life. Where I was so lost for so long, doing so many different jobs and knowing that I wasn't happy doing this. And then once I kind of found this out and figured out my niche, it was just like there's nothing stopping me now. I'm so passionate about it. Yeah. Yeah. Congrats. Lovely. Thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Sweet. you. Cool. Wasabi. Nice. Yeah. Spicy. That's a spicy, not meatball. Fake meatball. Look who I found the lovely Earthling Edge, about the hardest working activist in the business. What we want to know is, you've done loads of veganism. What has veganism done for you, bro? I mean, veganism totally changed my life and gave me a purpose. And I think maybe you guys can relate as well. Before I was vegan, I didn't really know what I was doing in my life, and I felt that I was kind of a lost soul wandering for a kind of purpose. But being vegan has given me that purpose. It's kind of given me a goal that I want to achieve. And I guess on, on maybe it's more superficial level, I feel healthier, I feel cleaner, my morals align with my actions. Um, and I can sleep better knowing that animals aren't screaming because of me anyway. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's, it's just, I mean, it's just everything. There's, there's literally no negative, neg no negative consequence to be here. It's very positive. Yeah. Yeah. It's all love. It is all love. It's all love. And thank you for all you need, but it's positive. Vegan speak, you might know him. Link in the description. He is welcome. Sasa, you have done so much veganism. What I'm asking people today is what has veganism done for you? I think it has made me reflect on my daily lifestyle choices much more. So if, if you're thinking veganism, okay, every day you have to think about non-harming animals. What else am I doing wrong in my day-to-day -day life? Like maybe, you know, I'm a bit stressed or I'm a bit, you know, I'm doing things that I could improve on. It's not only about veganism. The veganism is a great, important step, but you can still do much more than that. So it always helps me think about how many other things I could be doing and I can't do and how I can always improve. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Make sure you pay attention at home and make sure you're thinking about things. Or else... <laughs> Goddamn Cobra <Cobalt> Taps! <laughs> Thank you, brother. Three crisps. Mm. Look who I've bumped into, the lovely Jordan. Uh, Jordan, tell us you put on a wonderful event I came last year. Tell us all about it. You've got one next year as well. Yep. Tell us all about it. Yeah, so we just released actually our information for next year today. Um, it's going to be held at Newark Showgrounds in Nottinghamshire. And we're going to hopefully aim for 5,000 people this time. So twice as many people as this year. I'm going to have um, lots of different things for this year, like more for everyone. So like more for people that want to be in quiet camping, more for people that want to party and, you know, in that which I know. Yeah, I know, you're you. smiling, you're smiling. <laughs> I got quite grumpy last year. But even though I lost sleep, I've had the best weekend. So thank you, sir. Don't forget the explosion. Thank you. What you got there? Women's crap? <laughs> Look at this awesome guy I've bumped into, Carlos Barbon. All the way from sunny Spain. Yeah, from Benidorm. Are you, are, you, are you having fun? Yeah, I enjoy it. Very nice. And you've got um, vegan supplements Great. on the go. Tell us what you've got. Yeah, I've got the Vegistar. I created it seven years ago. Um, it's all natural, it's completely, we try to use the uh, cultivation of the plants which are basically in Europe and Spain, so we use rice and pea protein which is cultivated from Spain and from Italy, and we have different versions, we have vitamin D, also vegan, also uh, created from the fungus linen, um, so you can't complain that anything is uh, with traces of animals. Yeah. How long have you been thinking now? Um, vegan, vegan less. I start, stopped eating animals 32 years ago, at age of 14. It's not allowed to calculate my age now. And so good to meet you. Bring her in, bring her in. Right, thank you, Carla. Thank you. 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 Well, we're now off, but we had a very lovely time, didn't we, Gemma? It was amazing. Did you have fun? Yeah. 
if you've not been to one of these events, I suggest you do. The, just the love, the sense of community, just gives you hope for the future, doesn't it? Yeah. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Go vegan for victory. Bye.